In this Robo Motion review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Robo Motion. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Robo Motion. Robo Motion is a software that has the digital workforce of software robots. This is what you should see once you are first signing up and not once you first logged in. Later on in the review, we'll go through the dashboard and what actually is the features of when you have actually logged in. But for the beginners, I'm gonna quickly run through the beginning area of the software and what happens once you've first signed up. So it should ask, what is your robot's name? Every workspace comes with a default robot, which is a cool feature of the software. You can go ahead and choose a name, you type it in right there, and then you choose your robot name and click next. I'm gonna go ahead and just call our robot review for the sake of the review. So once I've gone ahead and clicked next, it should give you a workspace name where we just call it software reviews. And once I've named it software reviews, I'd go ahead and click next as well. Next, it should tell you to choose your workspace URL. You will use this address to sign into RoboMotion and I'm gonna call it reviews.robomotion.io. Once you click create your workspace, it should then take you to the main dashboard of the RoboMotion software. So I'm gonna quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature. So this is the main dashboard. And now if you are first signing up or if you are logging in, you should all land on the same area. Up here in the top left hand corner is the logo. If you click on that, it should take you to the main page. To the left of that is this section right here where you can actually bring out the flow designer, admin console, or even user console. You can just click off that to get rid of that. On the side right here, you have the projects, the templates, and the tutorials. If you wanna go ahead and click on the projects, which is what we are on right now, it should take you to this, where it should say, welcome to RoboMotion. You can create a new project from scratch, open an existing project from your workspace, or even import a project from your local storage. So this is pretty much where you'd either create a new one, open one, or even import one. Up here in the top right hand corner is your account. And once you click on this, you should either be able to access your settings or even log out if you wish to do so. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click new so we can go ahead and create a new area. Once you click new, it should open up this and it should say create a flow. And you wanna go ahead and just name your flow. So I'm just gonna call it review again for the sake of the review. But once you've named yours, whatever you wanna name it, you should be able to just click okay and it should go on to creating your flow. So now you can actually go through a flow designer tour if you want to, but we're not gonna do that for now. This is pretty much the area. You can go through applications, browsers, clipboards, cognitive areas, and more like that. There's a lot to go through as a beginner. Up here, you can actually click this if you wanna go ahead and see your projects, and you can go ahead and create a new project if you wish to do so. To the right of that, you have the master section, and then to the right of that, you have the play and pause button. So what you wanna go ahead and do is just play about with this, with whatever you want. If you wanna go ahead and add an application, you can actually add app in. All you have to do is actually just click and drag and drop, and then it should drop it into your main area right here. On this, you can actually just click on it and it opens up more right here where you can name it, click the color, delay, delay after, or even continue on error. It has your output section, your input section, and other options. So this is where you go ahead and actually add anything. You can drag and drop areas from your browser to applications and all these on the left-hand side. Down here is the events and the coding area where you can have the events, output, variables, and vaults. And then to the right-hand side is where any more information can be added to each area. Up here, again, you have your play and pause button you have this button right here where you can actually set it to day or night mode. To the right of that you have the save button and then to the right of that you have the different areas where you can actually select and deselect them in or out. So that's pretty much it for this area. You wanna go ahead and actually just play about with this with whatever standard you want. You can add one of these. Let's go ahead and just click open browser. And then to connect them, you just have to click the nodes like that by just dragging and dropping them together. Then you can go ahead and move these anywhere if you need any more space in your flow designer. Again, you can click on these and edit them on the right hand side where you can change the name and more like that. So you can go ahead and add these, add as many as you want from different areas. You've got Excel, file system, flow, forms, FTP, and more like that. 
just going to add another one, another random one. Let's just add sleep. And again, you can drag and drop the connection of the nodes and just add them together and add any information on the right hand side wherever you want to add it. You can move these about wherever you want as long as they're connected and that's pretty much it for this area. All the way back at the dashboard page, again, we are on this page. And now if you have any projects that you've actually created just like we have, all you'd have to do to open it up again is click open. It should open up this page right here where you can see you have the my flow section where I actually have the flow that I have named. It, there's the name right there. There's when it was last modified and any tags you have, you can have them there as well. With these little three buttons, you can choose to open it, rename it, delete it, export it, make a copy or even share. To the right of the my flows section, you have the shared flows. And this is where anyone who has actually shared flows with you would have your flow. So that's pretty much it. With that, you can actually choose to open your flow if you want to open it again. But for now, we're going to go ahead and click cancel. So we can go back to the main dashboard page like we are here. To the left again, going onto the template section. Once you click on that, this is where you can go through any templates of the flow designer. You have loads to choose from, from an Amazon search result scraping to a backup to an S3 bucket. There is loads to choose from in the template section. You have Discord, Instagram, and other features like that. You can scroll through these and find which one best suits you and then click on them and open it up and edit it to your standards. And it should be the pretty much the same designer area as we were designing a flow before. You can go through these in your own time. Let's say if we wanted to do an Instagram highlights, you click on that and it should take you to this area right here where it is a bit more intuitive and a bit more integrated for the design. Again, now you can actually see the flow working in action. You have the start, the configuration, the login, the next profile, and it's pretty much the flow of actually logging into Instagram. And this is how it would actually work. You can go through this in your own time and actually see what it actually does hand by hand. But for now, I'm going to go back to the other page. Finally, you can go into the tutorial section. If you need any tutorials for this software, you can go through a quick start tutorial, basic tutorials, intermediate, and then advanced. And that is pretty much it for the RoboMotion software. And there you go. That is it for the RoboMotion software review. Overall, it is a great software for creating flows and flows for other softwares. A few features I liked is how intuitive it is to actually work the software. There's not a lot going on to begin with. And then when you go onto the actual area where you edit the flows, there is loads of different options and it's pretty good for anyone trying to do it professionally. For any beginners though, it is a bit complicated. So I would advise them going to the tutorial section, which is another cool feature for this software if anyone doesn't know what they're doing. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. Anyone, again, looking to create flows on a professional level, I recommend they start here on this software. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.